Hello and welcome to Blender Video Tutorial number 24 and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you uh, the lighting effect, uh, how to light your area better. Uh, to start out with I'm going to go ahead and just delete the default cube and I'm going to add a plane in. So, scale that up a little bit and I'm going to bring it down. Uh, let's subdivide it just in case and uh, also I'm going to bring the edges down on the out outer side so it's not so thin. So hold down Alt and right click, Shift, Alt, and extrude, E key and bring it down. Let's scale it up a little bit and bring it down. So we have that. All right. Scale up a little more, and I'm just gonna grab it, put it over here. I'm now I'm going to add. Uh, I'm just gonna add a mm, circle. Where is it? Okay. So add the circle in. Just going to model a quick bowl as before. Oh. There we go. Okay. Let's continue finishing this. And you can try this as well. Remove the doubles. All right, I'm gonna set it to smooth and add a subsurf modifier. All right, now I'm gonna bring it down to our plane, and also with our plane, I'm going to go back to edit mode. I'm just gonna I want to make this a little taller too. Okay, there we go. Just kind of make sure it doesn't go through the bottom here just a little bit to know that you're touching alright in edit mode with our plane I'm going to select everything and hit the W key and I'm going to hit the B Beville okay except the one and just bring it in a little bit alright and you just sharpen the edges a little bit so now you can set it to smooth and add subsurf without having to worry about uh, knife cutting to round the corners off better so I'm going to go to camera view Actually, I, want, I need to move back a little bit, so let's go to top view, hit the G key, and and so that our camera is looking perfectly at this, just select your camera, shift select your ball, and then hit control or er, uh, control T, track to constraint, and now your camera will look directly at the center of this object, which we need to center new it. Center new your object, just hit center new with your uh, tool selected and edit buttons and that should center your uh, uh, your arrows into the center of this so there you have it no matter where the camera goes it'll always be tracking this object alright so now you can bring it back and don't worry about you don't have to worry about uh, losing track of this alright so to begin our lighting uh, we can go ahead and render this and see how it looks now with just a simple light, simple lamp. All right, but we notice that uh, it's not, it doesn't look very real because the the shade is just so dark. We don't need it this dark. If it's this dark, it looks almost like a hole or something. It's just uh, real life. You don't see a shadow this uh, outline. So to get rid of this. Uh, normal setup you normally would have two lamps next to your camera on both sides and this is just for still uh, still imaging so don't worry about animation two lamps on each side and I'm going to select the first lamp go to the materials tab and hit the light uh, I'm going to turn down the energy just a little bit just a little too bright and turn down the distance to about 20 Select the same, the next one. Do the same. Bring, it, bring the energy down, so the distance to about 20. All right. Now, if you look, we'll get the shadow, but it's not going to be so uh, harsh. All right. Now we can see that the shadow is uh, much more uh, smooth and transparent with the uh, the rest of the object here. Let this finish rendering. 
Alright, so moving along. I'm going to change the uh, background so we can see our lights better. So just go to the world buttons, real blind paper. There we have it. Go back to um, lamps. And now, we usually, normally when you do still life, your main object will have a spotlight on it. So add lamp and spot. Just bring it up and go to side view. I want to put it from this side. Just hit the R key to rotate. And I want to turn this up. Uh, select the lamp and you go to the lamp buttons once again. And instead of being so white, I'm going to just bring it down to a little grayer. And just set the energy down. Too much energy with too much white light just kind of destroys the shadows. Alright, so now we can render this out once more. And we'll see how much better the uh, images come out. And if you don't set the energy level down, uh, it'll just be too, too bright. And you don't want that. Remember, we haven't added a material to any of our objects that we're rendering right now, so that's why it's so gray. Alright. You can see the trim of the spotlight coming in right here. It's a very good effect. Uh, really shows out the uh, object you're uh, rendering out here. So I'm going to minimize this one. And I'm going to add the materials now. So click the cup. So I'm going to make it really white and a little reflective. So to make it reflective, hit ray mirror. And let's bring it up. All right. Let's bring it up a little bit. Now we can go over to... Oh, I need to close it down. My mouse stops working every once in a while. All right, so there we have that. So we'll select the plane, and I'm just going to make this one a little red, not too too red. And uh, I'm going to teach you one of the shaders. All right, so with your plane selected, uh, I just made it red, and I'm going to add instead of having the Lambert, we'll, we'll use Lambert. Uh, you see this whiteness right here. Uh, we don't want it so reflective, so just hit the REF and bring it down. Now you can see that the light doesn't reflect off so much color. And bring down the speculation. Maybe set the little little more reflective up. Set down the speculation. Now it's a little bit softer than it looked before. And we kind of want this to look softer. All right. So our next lighting effect would be to add lamp and area. Okay, so our area lamp. Rotate this a little bit. But, I want to rotate it this direction. So that's almost looking at the um, the lamp. So our camera is almost looking at the same area as the direction of this light. But this will just get rid of the two shadows from these two lamps. Select the light again. The area lamp. And just bring down the shadow color and draw down some energy. The area really puts in a lot of light so I'll do our last render and see how we look. Alright. Now we can really tell that our, our shadows are much much softer and that's really uh, really needed when you're trying to uh, add realism but we do have multiple shadows uh, one this direction, one that direction, one that direction you can just use another area lamp on this side to cancel out this shadow alright that looks pretty good if you ask me So uh, you can spend more time on the color and other stuff like that and you can also instead of having uh, the light to reflect just a color. You can also give it textures with adding uh, textures. Your tex your uh, lamp will throw a texture out there. Uh, you can give it different colors and try some of that out. You can use these. The ray shadow and just try to experiment around and see what you think. Uh, it's really good to light your area as best as you can or else it's just going to look like you slapped it together. Alright, so hope you uh, thought this tutorial was useful and try to light your area as best as you can.